guys, what's up? This is Place the Movie with him here, and it's time for another movie review. This time I'm gonna review the movie A Very Harold and Kumar Christmas. Now, the movie basically tells the story of two guys who are trying to get a Christmas tree. Yeah, that's basically what the story is. There isn't much more to the plot because most of the movie is random shit after random shit after random shit after random shit. And that's a good thing because I expected randomness when watching this movie. And that's exactly what I got. Now, normally I would talk about the idea and the execution for this movie, but to be entirely honest, I'm not going to this then because that isn't one specific idea for the movie. There are plenty and all of them worked out so well. I really was entertained by all the random ideas that were put into this movie. I'm not going to talk about all of them so that would spoil the movie but I am going to tell you two fucking awesome ideas. One idea is a baby that's high and a father who is not afraid of killing anyone. Those ideas are amazing. Now it's time to talk about the characters of the movie. I already told you about two characters when I talked about the ideas from the movie. But let's talk about Harold and Kumar. Harold is the smarter one out of those two. And he does everything he can to make sure that things are done all right. Kumar on the other hand is a man child and a fucking idiot who fucks everything up. You know who Kumar reminds me of? Well, he reminds me a lot of Peter Griffin from Family Guy because Peter Griffin is also a man child who screws things up. The rest of the characters were random at best. And you know what? That's what I thought was fucking awesome about the characters. I loved the randomness in this movie. Now it's time to talk about the comedy. The comedy in this movie is a fucking success because I left a lot during this movie. Now I'm going to compare this movie to my favorite comedy show, Family Guy. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Now, a very Harold and Kumar Christmas is random as shit. There is just random stuff after random stuff after random stuff. But to be entirely honest, I can't really say that this movie is a lot like Family Guy. I mean, Family Guy relies way more on randomness than this movie does. For one thing, the randomness in the movie Harold and Kumar are somewhat relevant to what's going on, where the randomness in Family Guy is usually completely unrelated to the story. So yeah, that's the main difference between this movie and Family Guy. Family Guy is way more random. I fucking love randomness and that's why I love Harold and Kumar. This Harold and Kumar movie I mean. Now it's time to talk about 3D. Yeah, I know a lot of you are thinking, a lot of you are probably thinking that I'm going to bitch about the 3D. But actually, no, I'm not. For once, I actually think that the 3D was done well. That's right, I hear it. I'm possibly the biggest hater of 3D on this fucking website. So I'm sure not many of you will expect me to say that about a movie. But I mean it, the 3D was done so well. Usually when I watch a movie, I never feel that anything is coming at me. I never feel that way. But in this movie, I actually felt something coming at me. And for that, I applaud this movie for having a great 3D. You know, the only times I actually enjoy the 3D in movies is if the movie itself is making fun of this whole gimmick. And this movie does that. This movie mocks the 3D gimmick and makes fun of it in the funniest way possible. So what are my all thoughts on this movie? Well, it's fucking hilarious. And it's definitely one of my favorite Christmas movies. It makes fun of the holiday and gets me into the Christmas mood. And for that, 
I am going to give this movie two thumbs up. It's definitely one of my favorite Christmas movies. So this movie is fucking awesome. If you're drunk, now stop party. That's all I'm gonna say, people. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. And also, have a very merry Christmas.